We are alive. Everybody watching out there, I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably going to be able to tell it. I've heard that uh, throughout this entire uh, coronavirus experience that a lot of musicians have been very professional uh, in how that uh, these live streams have gone across, and this is probably not going to be one of those experiences. Uh, <laughs> we're probably going to have some technical difficulties, and uh, I do have lyrics <laughs> for some of the songs. So what we're doing uh, tonight is my approach to this, and Jody and I talked on the phone for a long time yesterday, was what songs do we play? And if any of you out there watching uh, been to any of our shows, you, you see a lot of the same songs and a lot of the same set list. So tonight, we're going to start from my record, Six Strings, One Dream, which was one of my first uh, records. And we're going to play a couple of songs from that, do some covers. We're going to take some questions. Uh, we're going to do a few songs from the next record, play some covers, take some more questions, and we're going to work our way down to the end. So here we are. Uh, by the way, this is my buddy Jody Bartula. And oh, guys. You guys stay where I'm at, Jody. Uh, we're going to talk for just a second, waiting for everybody to log on. Uh, by my watch, it's a little after 7. Uh, we're going to try to get as many people on and make this thing as uh, big as we possibly can. We have six people. Well, never mind. Well, maybe we'll just start because we have 6,000 people right here. Oh, good so. Lord. Look at this. Uh, yeah, we are here tonight, for, just as an introduction, we're here at my favorite ranch, uh, in Texas, hunting ranch, that is. Uh, our buddy Marco was kind enough to let us be here tonight at the Double Drop Ranch. You can check out the Double Drop Ranch on Facebook. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful wildlife habitat. We've spent a lot of time today just riding around looking at all the, the different uh, breeds of animals that they have here, and it's a, it's a wonderful place. Uh, the sun's going down. You can kind of see this huge lake, so all you hunters out there that are jealous, just call Marco <laughs> with Double Drop Ranch because I'm telling you, it's really cool. Um, what is it? There's no volume. Is it good? Have we not had any volume this entire time? He can hear us for about two minutes. He goes. See, so somebody, uh, somebody out there posting right now. Tell me, tell me what didn't get heard. Everything was good. I told y'all this is gonna be this way. I mean, <laughs> we <wonder laughs> so what was the last, I guess the last thing was our location that nobody yeah. heard. Uh, if you're wondering where I'm at, this is not my house. <laughs> I really wish it was. I don't know if you can see it on the camera behind us, this beautiful picturesque East Texas scenery, but this is my favorite ranch in Texas. This is uh, the double drop ranch in Huntsville between Huntsville, Riverside, Oakhurst area. Uh, extremely extremely wonderful wildlife habitat we've been messing around here all day and uh, what we'd like to do for the next two hours is to take your mind off of everything that's going on so what I encourage you to do is please don't watch the media please don't watch the news for like the next two hours let's pretend that this is none of this is going on because listen there's a lot of people like I can sit here and tell you that I'm really disappointed that I didn't get to play the Houston Rodeo or Waco or Corpus or many of the other shows that we've had to cancel. And that is the truth. I'm very disappointed. But there's a lot of people out there that are being affected so badly by uh, the COVID-19 outbreak. And not really the COVID-19, but just the reaction from what's happened. And uh, uh, tonight I'd like to just do my job. We're not getting paid for this. We're not, there's no, this is just me and Jody just wanting to play because he and I have been addicted to this thing called music for over 10 years, and we needed to play. We were going to do this at home Regardless. amongst ourselves, <laughs> we so we may as well go ahead and do it for all of you. And I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you have requests, put your requests down. If we don't know them, we are not going to play them. Uh, I have lyrics down here because we're up to 13,000 people. All right, cool. I think that's a good starting point. Y'all want to hear some music? <laughs> And I'm going to tune because we didn't bring my pedal board from the bus. Okay. You ready? Everybody good? We all good on sound? All right. Too late to turn back now. Two, three, four. Oh. 
Colorado's too cold the Snow gets the best of me Is laying there beside the fireplace Looks like where you ought to be And Oklahoma's too rich Where the American history It's kind of funny how it reminds me Lost books you used to read And if I stay gone much longer I might really go insane Cause no matter where I go I'll just be missing you in a Texas kind of way I keep seeing the rodeo in Santa Fe Might as well just lock me up in Huntsville Your memory's here to stay Cause no matter where I go I'll just be missing you in a Texas kind of way Now New York's got all them lights It's the city that never sleeps Detroit sure will be a fast car I'm Trying to run your memory Until the skies go on for miles Like the love you said you had for me But if I keep writing all these sad songs Might as well just be in Tennessee And I keep seeing you in Houston At the rodeo in Santa Fe Might as well just lock me up in Huntsville Your memory's here to stay Cause no matter where I go I'll just be missing me in a Texas kind of way I keep seeing you in Houston And down in Manigota Bay And up on 6th Street in Austin At the rodeo in Santa Fe Might as well just lock me up in Huntsville If your memory's here to stay Cause no matter where I go I'll just be Texas kind of way No matter where I go I'll just be missing you In Texas kind of way Just for the record, uh, thank you, sir. Just for the record, we have not rehearsed any of this. <laughs> in years. Eight in years. years. Uh, Jody and I talked on the phone for about an hour and a half yesterday talking about what we are going to play. And uh, I rehearsed till about 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, Wait, you rehearsed? I actually rehearsed. This is probably the first time in 14 years I've rehearsed. Uh, <laughs> Anybody out there uh, enjoying their evening? This one's for you. Not only do you get to uh, enjoy the scenery here at Double Drop, but you get these cool cups. I love this place. 
So we were going to do this in my, in my bus, which was parked at my house. And I thought, you know, I'm not really like a, I'm not a super public person. I'm pretty private uh, when I'm not on stage and on the road. Uh, so we were going to do this in my bus. And I thought, you know, y'all get a plenty of content of me sitting on the bus doing, hey, come out to this. And thanks for that. But when <coughs> I was texting Marco and Marco goes, why not do it here at the ranch and we can, you know, sight in some rifles and shoot some targets and ride around and look at some cool wildlife. I was like, well, that's what's going to happen. We're going to go there because this is way cooler than my house. So uh, each one of these songs that I'm going to play for you tonight, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit. of. I'm not going to talk a whole lot, but I want to tell you a little bit about it. I wrote this song uh, with John Slaughter from Huntsville, Texas, and it was about a sign on the side of the road on uh, my way to Concan, Texas. And I want to say it was our first number one on the Texas music sure charts. Yeah, because Texas kind of way didn't make it. it how many? Single when I got in the band. Yeah. How many people are we up to right now? I just think that's really cool. How? Twenty-two thousand. Dude, thank y'all so much for doing this. And like, like I say, this is not really about like. This is not really about us at this moment. I kind of want it to be about y'all and getting to sit home and not think about what's going on. Uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that anyway. Let's play some music. I was five years old Looking through the window pane There was death growing in the fields Every year it was the same There was burn up corn Living in a dusty haze And it said good night son I love you And pray for rain He told my mama that he was going to the bank He put on his Sunday's best, no, but he didn't hide his pain The maker said, take the money, son, but you better pray for rain No waters in the creeks There's a fear in the congregation Every Sunday when we meet At the devil's found West Texas And he may never leave The preacher gives a sermon Says pay your tithes And pray for him Now my daddy's land is mine And time sure ain't the same The black top's taking over There's no room to grow the grain And now the man down at the bank Well he don't understand my pain Cause he don't have to lay his head down every night And pray for rain I was five years old 
Looking through the window pane There was dead growing in the fields Every year it was the same There was burnt up corn Living in a dusty haze And daddy'd say goodnight son I love you Pray for rain. Tell three. Chili Fest and Snook. Uh, so we're up to 24,000 people watching, and I think that is about the coolest thing that could possibly happen on this whole thing. I, I didn't really know what to expect, and uh, I will go ahead and admit, you know, after doing this most of my life, there's a part of what you do as a musician, and you do get, like, you, you guys don't, y'all don't know what you do for me on a nightly basis when we are playing in arenas, and there's 10,000 people a night. What you do for me is so much stronger and it's so much more than I'll ever be able to give back to you through my music. So to know that to know that you're out there watching and being a part of this is extremely cool for me. Uh, so I'm going to do my first cover of the night. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, like you can ask me anything. If it's what color underwear I'm wearing, I probably just won't answer it or I might. Um, joke's on you. No. <laughs> uh, my first cover I'm going to do is a Chris Stapleton cover. I told you we were going to tune. Only a, only a certain kind of person tunes unmuted, but I can't mute this for the live feed, so... I hope my guitar player Jake's out there watching and just pissed off about every little out-of-tune thing I do right now. <laughs> this next song might be for you. Uh, I don't know Chris Stapleton, but I've been a fan of him since the very first time I heard his voice on a demo of the next song I'm going to play you. So, uh, This is something I've been doing in my shows lately. Actually, we're on tour with Miranda Lambert on the Wild Card Tour, which we can't wait to get back to. And uh, randomly, I just had this song in my head, and I think what I said on stage was, y'all, I love country music just like you do. I want you to know, like, what I'm feeling and what I'm what I'm vibing at the moment. So we pass in the hall. I started in the wrong key. Sorry. I told y'all it was gonna be this was going to be a, a live situation. Should have been there for you. Yep, sorry. This was on you. I'm not playing the guitar. We pass in the hall On our way to separate rooms The only time we talk at all Is when the month the bills are due Go to work and go to church You know we fake the perfect life Pass upon and give a damn And all my tears you cry We could just go on like this Say the word and call it quits Baby I won't love you either way It's been so long since I've felt 
anything inside these walls And you can't hate and you can't hurt When you don't feel a thing at all You used to cry and stay up nice And wondering what went wrong It's been hard Hearts can only do this for so long We can just go on like this Say the word and call it quits Baby, you can go, you can stay I want to love you either way We could just go on like this Say the word and call it quits Baby, you can go or you can stay I want to love you We have, uh, thank you, sir. We have under 10 people in this room just for uh, any law enforcement or people that are going to be really concerned about how many people we have in here. There's way less than 10. I don't count real good, but. Is this considered social distancing? <laughs> um, we have one question, and that's not what I thought. I like your note. What is my favorite Whataburger order? I can honestly say I can count on one hand how many actual burgers I've ever purchased from Whataburger. I thought that was However, I have eaten thousands of bacon, egg, and cheese taquitos, mostly between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m. <laughs> Who else? Okay, just, just post like this might be just really random, but who else only thought that Whataburger sold breakfast. I'm, like, <laughs> for a while there, yeah. <laughs> I'm being, I'm just like, being why honest. Why are they talking about burgers in the name? Yeah, well, you know you're from Texas when you say water. Water burger. Because I have a friend of mine named uh, Dustin Seavers in Wisconsin that I hunt with every year. And uh, we've hunted for the last four or five years. And uh, I said, water burger, man, when you come to Texas, you got to try water burger. And he says, that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, it's, you know, what is a water burger? But apparently it's what a burger. Who knew? Yeah, who knew? No more questions? All right. I'm glad that everybody's just thoroughly entertained. We're doing a good job. I'm going to have a pile of paper down here by the time I'm through. So the first time I ever heard uh, Stapleton's voice was back whenever he was still just kind of doing demos and writing in Nashville. And uh, my friend and big brother and longtime mentor and producer and pretty much taught me everything there is to know about the music uh, side of the music business is Trent Willman. And Trent and Chris had had a really good relationship together and uh, kind of cutting their teeth growing up, writing songs. And so I'd always heard of this guy named Stapleton. And he plays me this song one night. It's back when Trent lived in the old apartment he used to live in. We were sitting up one time, uh, we were drinking scotch, I think, which, which is really random. And uh, he plays me this song called Ocean of Whiskey. He goes, check this song out, man. I know you like to record your own stuff. This was back when I thought I'd wrote all the best songs. Uh, and he said, you should cut this outside song called Ocean of Whiskey. I wrote it, and Stapleton did the demo on it. And I heard Chris's voice, and I went, if I can sound anywhere close to that, I want that. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so I know my buddy Jared Morris, which was one of the first people that played me on the radio, is out there drinking whiskey right now. So uh, the song is called Ocean of Whiskey. What does that say? What's the Brandon and Brenda love you? Oh, oh. Brandon and Brenda. I know y'all probably got some uh, VO out right now. This is for you.
Had all the whiskey Ever made in Tennessee well, I'd pour it all down in this hole Where my heart used to be Build a big boat out of shouldn't have and wished I'd have done. Said sail in that place in my memory that all started from on these amber ways of grain. I go back in time. Like a ship in a bottle She's locked up inside of my mind Well, I know I can find her Right where I left her Right where I did her wrong But as long as she's with me On this ocean well, I don't care if I come back at all So pour me another and just leave the bottle right Each sip that I'm taking, I'm tasting that warm salty air There won't be no troubles, a bartender, if it's okay. I'll stay right here on this bar stool and be on my way. On these amber ways of rain, I go back in time. A ship in a bottle She's locked up inside of my mind And I know I can find her Right where I left her Right where I did her wrong And as long as she's with me On this ocean of whiskey well, I don't care if I come back at all Yeah, as long as she's with me I'm a saucer on a whiskey Well, I don't care if I come back at Can we do this? Uh, so we have 26,000 26, people watching right now. Thank you all so much for logging on. Can you play my, this is my favorite fiddle lick of all time. Can you please play Mousetrap? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it makes me like that every time. Let <laughs> me say, if you don't get it, you don't get it. Yeah, you get it tomorrow. And you're like, man, that was really funny. <laughs> so I'm starting to notice that... Uh, can anybody, somebody mind grab me a bottle of water, please? I'm starting to notice that uh, the older the song, the higher the key. Ah, me too. <laughs> I was trying to sing this stuff on the way over. It was so high. I almost didn't play this guitar because it needs a little work. Uh, but so do I. <laughs> Somebody out there like John Carroll watching me tune this guitar going, No! Ah, stop it! Turn it! <laughs> I like that. So, uh, when I first. Uh... Sorry, hold on. That's great. None of y'all can heckle at me while I'm doing this. Yeah, if you yell at me, 
It's just through the comments page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just put exclamation points on the comments. <laughs> so one of the first songs that... I'm just kidding, I'm not going to talk anymore. <laughs> Someone wants Joe Exotic covers. Uh, we're I don't know if you have hard. watched. I don't know if you have watched Tiger King or not. I have. I watched it all in one day. My God. <laughs> I saw those. Me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> when I, wow. Joe Exotic. I have nothing to say. Um, so when I first started playing around Huntsville, like shenanigans was the ultimate goal. Like you, you wanted to one. My, my first two concerts were at Shenanigans. Uh, my first concert was Billy Joe Shaver. Then I, sure. Yeah. Anyway, I walked into I walked into Shenanigans on a random Billy Joe Shaver concert night. I guess it was a Thursday night because they did concerts on Thursdays back then. Um, and there was probably two two hundred fifty people in Shenanigans, and Billy Joe Shaver. The first thing Billy Joe Shaver says is, "If you don't like Jesus." You can go straight to hell, and I, <laughs> I was in, and I was enthralled. Um, that's the, Billy Joe is the reason why I have the Black Rose, which is a Billy Joe Shaver song, on my guitar. Uh, I saw Kevin Fowler there, and I've never seen anything like Kevin Fowler playing in front of 2,300 people in Shenanigans. I say 2,300 because we broke your record, Kevin, at 2,500 one time. Uh -huh. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Love you, brother. Um, I walked in and I watched Kevin Fowler pick up a mic stand and walk around and it was a completely metal show. Oh yeah. But it was country music and it changed me. I wanted to be like Kevin Fowler. Uh, shortly thereafter, I watched Corey Morrow there and it was a. Uh, anyway, the, my point I was getting at was when this song, when we released this song, this was the first song that really got played on the radio enough to really put us in the venues that I wanted to be in like that. So. I promise you somebody's broken up with somebody to this song in Texas. <laughs> I wish I'd do the collateral damage that I don't care about you as calls in Texas. Ready? Two, three. Here's the truth. I refuse to argue with you, baby I can't tell you what to do But I'm not some Johnny come lately So there's a door you can walk right through And if this is some kind of premonition How it's gonna be with you I'm out, I'm done, baby, I'm through Cause at night I don't care about you So there it is That's all that needs to be said, baby I don't care about your friends What they seem to think that you need lately and If you don't want to believe me I guess I'm every bit of the jerk that you say I am but tonight I don't give a damn Because tonight I don't care About trying to make things right I'm just not in the mood And I'm damn sure not gonna fight tonight And if this is some kind of premonition How it's gonna be with you I'm out, I'm done, baby, I'm Cause tonight I don't care about you Well, 
worst not to see it tomorrow morning I won't change my mind But tonight you better listen to my warning I need a little time Cause tonight I don't care About trying to make things right I'm just not in the mood And I'm damn sure not gonna fight tonight and if this is some kind of premonition God's gonna be with you I'm out, I'm gone, baby, I'm through Cause tonight I don't care about you Here's the truth I refuse to argue with you, baby For all you guitar players out there I know it was out of ten <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate uh, Do we have, uh, let's see, where are we at now? Go do a couple of covers. All right. Yeah. Those are good covers. Good job, us. Yeah, we're, uh, I'm so used to playing, like, I have to kind of stop myself. Anybody that's been to one of our shows before, you know, it's really fast paced. I have to kind of stop myself from going one thing to the next. We're accruing, uh, questions or comments. <laughs> I'd almost like to know who requested the Joe Exotic covers. Like, I feel like I can say this because I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, worst music I've ever heard in the life. It's, 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 but it's awesome. You can't stop listening to yeah, it. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I watched the entire series. <laughs> and then I watched the YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've done that yet, but do it. Okay. We're getting close. My manager, uh, Howie, recommended that I have a co-host for this because it would be a lot of talking on my own. There might be some dead time. And I thought, man, that's great. But if I chose my co-host... <laughs> I bet Howie was pleased. <laughs> and he chooses the same amount of dead time as I do. Watch this. I don't know any good jokes. I'll just drink with you. <laughs> I don't know any jokes I can say here. <laughs> All right, uh... I want to do a... I want to do a Willie Nelson song that is also my favorite Chris Christopherson song. Ooh. We have no electronic tuners, people. We're doing this by ear. They can actually, Jody's see, got it. They can see your snark. Right Jody's there. got it, actually. He's got a rocket ship down Don't lie to them. <laughs> Oh no, snark doesn't count. That's not, that's that not is it. clearly a suggestion. You get anywhere, any guitar player out there knows what I'm talking about. If you tune off of a snark, it's kind of a it's suggestion. It. You they're, just get between here and here, and it's. They're the right it's kind of, Yeah, so. Take the ribbon from your hair. Shake it loose and let it fall. Let it soft against your skin Like the shadow on the wall Come and lay down by my side Till the early morning All I'm taking is your time Help me make it through the night I don't care who's right or wrong And I won't try to understand Let the devil
Yesterday's dead and gone Cause tomorrow's outside It's so sad to be alone Help me make it through Is this, uh, unless it's negative, <laughs> if you're saying, unless it's negative, keep it to yourself. Uh, we'd like to know what you think about our little setup because we threw this together in a couple of days. And depending on how long this situation goes on where we can't play uh, live concerts, this may be the new norm for a while. So let us know what you think about it. If there's any way we can improve it, uh, but then again, if it's like one of those things like I can't believe he hasn't tuned that G string yet, just keep your G string comments to yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be an audience laughing. None of them laugh. Like all of them are all over. Just so you know, everybody on the other side of this camera is like afraid to incriminate themselves of being here during the epidemic. They're all like, uh, "What key do we do, uh, crazy?" I don't know. If you always do it by yourself. I don't know, dude. I, I completely forgot what key I played in. Do you, does anybody remember? No. G didn't sound wrong. Start it in G and see if it's wrong. We can always change it. Like, there's not like there's more people here for us to mess up. Like, I'll go where you go. You can't mess up Patsy Klein, man. What's up? We're good? Okay. That's a B string for all you G string commenters. Everybody, that's another thing that bothers me about this whole setup, is every now and then everyone else in the room will we'll giggle and snort laughing. about something, and I'm like, and we're all in the middle of a sweet. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out what I've got on my shirt. So if y'all can time the like, cool comments while we're not singing, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> what Joey said. That's actually. Come on, Dwayne. I'm crazy Crazy for feeling so lonely I'm crazy Crazy for feeling so I knew you loved me as long as you wanted, and then someday you leave me for somebody. 
supposed to be applause there. See how weird that is? Just have fun. We're all mostly in our PJs. We're barely out of our PJs. <laughs> I'm wearing Bergenstock shoes and my favorite Dwayne Wade socks. Dwayne Wade, you need to give me some more socks because these are awesome. I don't even watch basketball, but your sock game is strong, son. I mean, nobody watches basketball right now. <laughs> Very fair point. <laughs> Very fair point. What's the name of the uh, What's the name of the Utah Jazz player, Colton? Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert. He's the He's the defensive player of all time because he shut down the entire league. He is. He is. He shut down more NBA players than. Uh, he's also got a foot like the size of that yeah, guitar. Also, His I'm just poking fun. <laughs> I don't even watch NBA. I've got like uh, I've mentioned two NBA players now. Let's see. Whoa. I don't want to get my butt kicked, man. <laughs> They're way taller than you. Uh, no more uh, questions. We're burning through this stuff. What? We're about fifty minutes in right now. How many tat? What? I'm reading cards. Like you know, you see people. Like, cue cards. Um, the little cue cards. What does it say at the bottom? Oh, she just giving you the answer. Oh. Oh, oh, I get it. Sorry. The question is, how many tattoos do I have and what's my favorite? And at the bottom, there's some little squiggly lines, and it says the answer is Brandy. So, yes, I have my wife's tattoo right here that I have yet to finish. That's definitely my favorite. Um, I have this entire arm covered. I just I have yet to go up with all the black shading and the different color. Uh, Jody kind of went the opposite way. He went all color and his stuff to do first, and then he's going to do his black. Like, I kind of started from here, I got to here, and then I cut it off, and I'm going to go all the way up. I might incorporate my uh, chest. I've got a big, I am the quintessential uh, Texan. I have Texas on my chest. I also have a resist all tattoo right here, resist all cowboy hats. I know somebody, Ricky Bowen, Dustin Noblin's out there listening. So. Sorry about the tune in, people. Jody first got in the band, he said, I tune once a week whether I need it or not, and I didn't think that was funny. Well, I didn't play near as tune as I do now. <laughs> <laughs> we wasn't, needed to talk to you about it that. It wasn't as funny back then. The reason this guitar is this tank, mm -hmm. if it starts acting up, I'm going to switch, but... Uh, the reason this guitar is so cantankerous is because I have beat this thing for like the last two years <laughs> on stage, and I, I'm surprised it's actually held up, to be honest with you. Y'all just about to see how real it gets. There's a little bit of 
the pressure when you know everybody's listening to you, too. Tune it right. Unless you're Jake Mears, and he never feels any pressure about tuning. They don't feel any pressure about anything. He just stands over there. It's gonna be. Off. It's gonna be weird if we poke fun at Jake the entire time and he actually didn't even tune in. He was like, "What are you guys talking about when we get back to work?" I ain't right, watching y'all. Okay, this is a. Wrote this song with Joel Shoemaker. First time we ever sat down. Uh, it's called Baby's Blue. Watching that clock, tick talking on by. I had to talk myself out of up and quitting outright. When I heard that we were working late, I called my baby on my next break. She was a hot mess, she had a bad day. She took a deep breath, next thing she had to say. Honey, I want you Baby's blue And she needs me by her side So blue I can hear the tears in her eyes Lord knows I need this job there's bills to pay, and I'd walk away if I have to. Mm, baby's blue. Filing y'all for crank up my pickup, drive like a madman, she needs my love. Like a songbird near to me. I tell you just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap her up tight, kiss the tears out of her eyes. Man, I swear, if I hit another red light, I'm gonna drive on through. I'm gonna drive on through, baby's blue. She needs me by her side So blue I can hear the tears in her eyes Lord knows I need this job Cause there's bills to pay But I'd walk away if I have to Fire my baby's guy Always pass them on the red hot It's blue And she needs me by her side So blue I can hear the tears in her eyes Lord knows I need this job Cause there's bills to pay And I'd walk away if I have to mm, baby's blue My baby's blue I was a little late on the ending, but yeah. Right. <laughs> he said, we haven't played a lot of these songs in a long time. We have our own uh, two-person uh, fire lit. Or, or we hold the lighters the up. The Zippo thing. Zippo it's a, yeah. We're not going to turn the camera around. There's some things you guys shouldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Jake. Uh, Hi, buddy. We miss is it you. time for me to switch this up? Oh, yes. Yeah, Uh, we have a question that says, favorite show today? Like, favorite, like, 
TV show, favorite show I've played? Oh, I'm, I'm assuming show that we've played since we I've had nothing to do for a couple of weeks. I've been watching a lot of shows. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, for me, there's that, there's that feeling you get when you play um, consistent shows. Like when you're playing consistent shows, whether it be 2,500 cap uh, theaters or whether you're playing 2,500 cap bars or you know, eight to 10,000 seat arenas, when you do something uh, consistently and it's starting to hit and you're doing the same thing every night, there's that feeling of just keep rocking, just keep rocking. Uh, I'm a dad of two daughters, so I just thought about Dory, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, sorry. Um, but there are those shows that stick out, like the first time that I played Green Hall or Schrader Hall and sold it out was really no different than the first time that I'd played the Grizzly Rose comparing to sell that out two nights in a okay, row, so, yeah. uh, which is no different than the feeling of getting the call up to Houston and then coming back and setting the record for the most people by an independent artist. It, it, like, when you've got that, there's your work in shows. For me, it's like I get the same feeling and the same satisfaction of knowing that not only am I getting to do what I love for a living, God has blessed me enough to be able to be able to do what I love for a living, uh, but I get to carry a lot of my best friends along with me and uh, affect their lives too and, and put a lot of good music out and uh man i don't know i if I, I don't know if i can narrow it down to I'll, I'll say this this is just as generic as i can get without being too biased to my own opinions i've only opened up for george Strait one time so i'd have to say that opening for george Strait was probably the coolest thing i've ever done in a place where tom brady cool. in a place where tom brady will no longer play football uh oh sorry pat's fan oh Oh. Is that too soon? We can make coronavirus jokes. I mean, yeah, we, we, we have a lot of those, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for y'all. Where y'all think Tom's going? Chances are, every, like 80% of y'all are fixing to say the Raiders. Oh, he's already in yeah, Tampa, Tampa Bay. Oh. Uh, it shows you how much I've been watching Sports Center. Disregard that. Newsflash, Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay. Why did Tom Don't Brady make bets on this. He went to Tampa Bay? <laughs> Best of luck on that coming <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. Tampa! <laughs> <laughs> Tampa! <laughs> oh, everyone who lives on our tour buses knows exactly what that was about. All right, this is a... Uh, the first song I ever wrote with David Lee, who is probably next to Tony Lane and Jeffrey Steele and Terry McBride as one of my favorite songwriters of all time. David, if you're out there watching, thank you so much for sitting down with me and teaching me what you taught me about songwriting, uh, learning how to wait for a bite instead of trying to make the bobber shake on its own. Uh, he asked me, what he said, what do you want to write? I don't know, man. I want to write a song about me. And he goes, well, what are you? And I said a lot of things, and I said a cowboy. And he goes, so you want to write a song about a cowboy like you? I said, a cowboy like me. I'm out here chasing these rainbows I need to find. I go and Lord knows it kills me to leave her behind. She drew a low card, but she gave me her heart. But sometimes it's hard to believe that sweet little angel went and got herself tangled in the arms of cowboy like me Well I know she deserves more than a drifter is for the lies Smoky bars and guitars don't make for no fairy tale life Every time I head home think I'll find her gone she's still there still wants to Arms of a cowboy. She's 
Just want a hole in the carpet Between the bed and the phone She worries about me when I leave Until I'm back home Cause there's downtime for killing There's whiskey and there's women It's just right for feeling me Oh, but she's in no danger There's no room for a stranger In the arms of a cowboy like me Well, I know she deserves more Than a drifter lives for the lies Smoky bars and guitars Don't make for no fairy tale life air conditioning duct is dropping water on me like did we freeze up the ac it's dropping water all over i like the whole time i was i wished it would i just wished it would have done it during pray for rain it would have been a lot cooler it'd been like a little uh carry underwood type effect going on you know uh, have we gotten any negative feedback on this deal that's good because y'all better not be talking trash you know what i'm saying uh you want to get that undone there? Oh, we're going to take just a pause. We're about half. We're about. Uh, I'm just going to move your knot down here. We're halfway through our um, set list, but this is all kind of a suggestion at this point. Let's see. What do we have? A question? Favorite song I've written? Uh, Dear Rodeo. And that's. I've written a lot of songs. And not a lot of good songs, but I've written a lot of songs. And Dear Rodeo is probably. I mean, I've, I've written, you know, I've, I've, had, I've been fortunate enough to have some really great mentors like David Lee and Trent Willman and Dan Couch and a bunch of those guys that have really invested in time in me. And uh, uh, it's perfect. I'm telling you, the, the drips just keep coming down. They hit me right, <laughs> right in my hand. It's on the fourth one. <laughs> I, I thought you spit on me earlier, and I was like, this well, is not conducive not to so solo, so, social distancing. This is not. Good way. Good way. That's uh, what they're talking about. Anyway, so, so probably Dear Rodeo, just because... Uh, very rarely do you get a chance to write something that autobiographical. Uh, very rarely do you get a chance to be that vulnerable on paper with people and make it make sense to everybody because obviously not everybody watching tonight knows anything about rodeo. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a niche thing, and I never thought that that would translate, but it, it did. If you want to hear Dear Rodeo, you're going to have to wait till the end of the set because I just moved it to the end of the set because y'all asked about it. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> We already had it at the end. It was already at the end. But you're still going to have to wait. You're still going to have to wait. That part was true. So I played you Willie. I have to play you Waylon. Um, and I will say, uh, oh, this, is, this is weird not being able to have. Usually when I want to take a break and go like uh, to the porta potty that we make sure we have side stage at our shows. I just be like a band solo. Y'all always wonder what I'm doing. Like whenever I walk off stage, it's because I just want to break. Like, Take it, Jody. <laughs> Send one. I've thought about since I've been sitting here saying, Hey man, I got to go pee, play one. And I, I just, I didn't know how to go over. So, uh, 
Everybody take a break for just a second. Need some hydration and also some not hydration. <laughs> I thought you were about to make a pee in the bottle joke. I was like, that's super inappropriate, Cody. <laughs> we had this talk before we went on. We did have the talk before Where's we went line? on. People are watching. <laughs> Um, one of the coolest things I've gotten to do in my career so far is to record a song with Willie Nelson. And I'm not going to tell you what song, but it will be on our next record. And Mr. Nelson and I got to sit next to each other at the CMAs. And uh, one of the coolest things I've ever had said to me about anybody was, well, I'll tell you one thing, Cody. By the looks of it, we might be the only two cowboys in here tonight, and I and I will never, ever, ever let anybody take that away from me because I mean it's just freaking cool. Um, and my favorite musician of all time is Mickey Raphael. Mickey Raphael's had a job with Willie Nelson, but supposedly since he was like 15 years old. Um, I just saw him like two weeks ago at Houston. They were still really good. It, yeah, it, but <laughs> he's still the best. With the thought of a man having a career from the time he was 15 years old because of a little small French harp that he played so uh, uniquely is, is unreal. The thought that you can't think about Willie Nelson without hearing two things, Trigger and Mickey Raphael is about the coolest. And Mick, Mickey's on this track that we're putting on a record, and it's just the coolest thing ever. But um, I think if I would have had a chance to record with Waylon, I might have... I might have pushed that a little bit harder. I might have, uh, I don't know. Waylon might be Waylon might be my favorite uh, character of all time, and I'm a kid that grew up wanting to be Elvis. I really did. I used to sing blue suede shoes and um, I, I, you ain't nothing but a hound dog and and uh, we can play well, suspicious minds right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest influence for me was Elvis was was the gospel thing. You know what I mean? But like I was attracted to everything that Elvis was, but Waylon was. To me, Waylon was a lot of things that a lot of people, I won't say Elvis or Willie because I don't want to piss anybody off, but to me, Waylon was a lot of what other people were too afraid to be, uh, like naturally. Just like, that was just him. That was his personality. Well, and, I, and, I've never, and like I said, I never had the chance to meet the man, but just the way that his music has always pushed an agenda with me, it's like I can imagine what it's like to be in a room with a man like that when he walks in a room. It's like, Hoss is in control, you know what I mean? And uh, I thought it, everybody's watched Tales from the Tour Bus, maybe. Uh, I do if you this. haven't, watch it, please. Cinemax. You, Cinemax. Cinemax special called Tales from the Tour Bus. Do not watch this with your kids in the room. Do not Just watch because it's a cartoon, the don't watch it with your kids in the room. Um, but one of the things that st stuck out to me, and I've seen everything there is to see in this business over the last 14 years, was the fact that Waylon was afraid to ditch the Nashville sound and come down to Texas because Willie was calling him and saying, you got to get down here, dude. You got to get down here. And it was like, when I saw that, I thought Waylon Jennings was afraid to play in Texas. And I think that that's one of the reasons my favorite Waylon Jennings song is I've always been crazy. Cause I feel like it describes me. Uh, if I have to show it on this live feed, I will, but I have a Waylon Jennings tattoo on the bottom of my foot. You can believe that or not. I'd probably that was a fun up, night. I'll probably like wind you, up showing it In case it you're now. wondering, that was a blast of a night. <laughs> I'll show my uh, foot tattoo when Colton shows his butt tattoo. His, his other tattoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Papa Snow's over there going, please don't. Please yeah, there's don't. kids at home. We won't do that. We'll warn you before any nudity takes place. So we chose Bob Wills is Still the King because I've never played this song live. I haven't either. This is the first time we've ever played this? Yeah, we've never played this before. Okay. Well, I hope we don't. Well, I was like, it's I Bob Wills to the King. There's no I mean, so I hope we don't I'm make this completely horrible. horrible. Well, honky tonks in Texas were my natural second home. Well, you tip your hat to the ladies in a rose and in tone. I grew up on music that they called Western Swing. 
It don't matter who's in Austin, Bob Wills is still the king. Lord, I can still remember the way things were back then. In spite of all the hard times, I do it all again. Yeah. Just to hear the Texas Playboys and Tommy Duncan sing makes me proud to be from Texas, where Bob Wills is still the king. Well, if you ain't never been there, well, I guess you ain't been told. If you're gonna live in Texas, you gotta have a lot of soul. It's the home of Willie Nelson, Bob Wills, and a Western Swain. I'm proud to be from Texas where Bob Wills is still a king. Here the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, Tennessee. It's the home of country music, home that we all agree. When you cross that old Red River song, it just don't mean a thing. Once you're down in Texas, Bob Wills is still a king. Yeah, once you're down in Texas, Bob Wills is still the king. <laughs> now we're having fun. Whoever uh, told me to just have fun because we're all in our PJs, I appreciate the comment. Thank you, sir. I kind of want to just play covers. My buddy John Judge texted me and said, please don't play any covers tonight. I bet he's mad. <laughs> He's been yelling at us for like 10 years now. <laughs> Tell him we're going to play another cover later just for him. All right. Hey, for the record, I know all the rest of these songs. <laughs> yeah, we're to the point now where I have to kind of almost stop looking at my lyric sheet because we've gotten a little bit further along in our uh, chronological order. Is everybody still having fun? Like, I, I really, I'm waiting. It's like, a, it's like a two minute delay on these. Crowd responses, which is, what's that? We're still up around 24,000. So, uh, so, so listen, do this for me. If you're having fun, just post how much you're having fun. If this is, I, I don't know. And it's not for, there's no gimmick behind this. We're not, there's no analytical or statistic. I just want to know. I just, I just need to hear from you. Uh, Can you scream in the comment section? Joey, every time one scream of them screams in the comment section, you scream out here. <laughs> It's gonna be busy. Uh, I would like to thank everybody that has been involved, every radio station, every program director, everybody that's been involved for the last almost 14 years uh, at the Texas Regional Radio Report because we've had 13 number ones on that chart. And when I say 13 number ones, I mean, like, that's a lot. Like, that's a, there, and that's not counting number ones that I've, I've been fortunate enough to have with duets with guys like Kevin Fowler, or Roger Craig, or Jesse Robb Jr., Daryl Dodd. Uh, Dodd, you know what I mean? Um, which is a huge, huge, huge part of, of my career. I mean, I wouldn't have anything if it weren't for uh, somebody in Texas saying, you know what, I'm running this radio station, I'm going to play this because I don't care what anybody else thinks. That's what got us uh, to this point. And, and to my point, the next song, on, um, the next song I'm going to play you called "Title Half a Song" um, was something that started getting a major market radio play in Seattle, Washington, of all places. And our friend in Houston, uh, Johnny Chang, started playing it. And then 
everyone started playing it. And not only did half a song spike at one of our highest streamed songs, it got number one, they had to retire it in Texas, and it wound up making a push enough to where we had to put it back in the set outside of Texas. And we never released it as a single. We never released it as a single. Like it was just, they just started playing it. It was just so organic, and it was one of those things that, uh, it just describes every night that you've had in a, in a dance hall or a bar or a, anyway. I, I think it's just, I, I, I guess my point was is how cool it is that the power of your opinion in music and what it does for people like me. Uh, you know, obviously, y'all have been to my shows, you've seen my YouTube stuff, all the glory goes to God, but your your clicks and, and the things that you do with your social media devices for people like me uh, really separates the cream uh, from everything else. I've just got dripped on in my cup. It's probably sanitary. Well, I'm just, I mean, I'm kind of curious. Did we freeze up the air conditioning? No, I don't no? think so. There's probably just humid so. in here. It's, well, we're in East Texas. <laughs> Did you see those pine trees out there? <laughs> what is it? Lots of hearts and thumbs ups. What, what? Yeah. what else? Uh, I would heart you if you'd thumbs up this, please. <laughs> Come on. My wife Brandy's scared to walk on the camera. Turn around and show. <laughs> turn around and show him your shirt. <laughs> Give it to me. Her shirt says <laughs> Mickey Raphael. Number, number one. one, 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 one I mean, she ain't wrong. Even I think Stevie Wonder would agree. <laughs> Please don't open that door. <laughs> Good break. Anyway, have a song. All of it. <laughs> you have no idea how many joke, how many times that joke got made <laughs> during sound check. Let's play half a song of Miles in the background. Are we gonna play all of it or just? Are you ready? Boom, two, three. And we're starting slow, and about the time you walked in. I could see in your eyes you were heartbroken, needing a friend. Singers started singing as I lift you out of my barn stool. And before the first chorus was through, you were already smiling. I said, Oh, you some trying. I'm on girl, I'm glad to buy Ain't it funny thinking you were thinking you'd be drinking long Baby, ain't it crazy what can happen and have a song The second verse started, I asked you if you like to dance You said no, I figured, well, there goes my chance. Singer kept on singing, and before he hit that chorus again, I felt you grab my head. Then we beat on to the floor, and I've waited on this before. Pulling on a one, two, three, four Speeding in and getting in a rhythm Girl, that didn't take long Baby, ain't it crazy what can happen And have a song That song ended They said we only got one more Halfway through it We're still out here on the floor What you thinking 
but I think I'd like to drive you home. But I know it's probably never gonna happen. Girl, I'll just settle for a number on a napkin. And again, you never know what could happen and have a song. Have a song. <laughs> I play that one again. Ah, we got one little. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 You guys need to drink more or something. Uh, let's go to. Uh, let's skip that one. Okay. Can I get guitar one, please, sir? Yeah. I'm perfect to find that. We look like on time. Have we, have we only been playing for, oh no, we've been playing for quite a while, huh? An hour 25 or so. Cool, man. Oh, that's fine. No, I'll play this one. Yeah. So, like, I have a sentimental value with each guitar that I own. This one, really. this was a, a Dwayne Waterman guitar, and like when this thing was made, it was designed by a guy named Dwayne Waterman out of Colorado Springs. He is he has since moved to uh, Tucson, Arizona, and when this thing was made, it was like a ten thousand dollar flamenco. It was made for people that play water, but way better than me. Um, and it got dropped, and it got cracked right down the back. And it sat at Wildwood Guitars, or not at Wildwood, but it wound up 30 years later after sitting on a shelf uh, with my hands around it and asking, what's wrong with this thing? And they were like, it's a great one-of-a-kind handmade guitar. It just got dropped and nobody wants it. This guitar's first gig was in New York City live on television to play On My Way To You. For the first time, we'd never played that song. Random fact, that was the <laughs> first time we'd ever actually even played that song, like, not even in sound check. No pressure. So I, uh, <laughs> I sent a picture of this thing after having it for a year to Mr. Waterman, to Dwayne Waterman, and he said, holy, holy you have holy beat holy. the <laughs> out of that. <laughs> and and uh, uh, man, I just really feel like this thing is waiting to have a voice. So. It's really weird when you stop playing and everybody in the room just stares at you like, is something wrong? <laughs> Jump up and down or something. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Colton's over there like, hurry up, let's go shoot your gun. All right, we've gotten down to uh, the point where we're going to start playing some stuff. That and Listen, if you guys, if y'all tuned in to hear songs like Dance Her Home and Ride With Me and Never Go Home and Me and My Kind. Uh, we appreciate it. Diamond in my pocket. We we just really wanted to take this approach of playing stuff that doesn't normally get played. Uh, but we've gotten down to the point in the set where I, I have to play these songs. Uh, with You I Am was the first time that I'd ever sat down in a room with Trent Willman and David Lee at the same time. And uh, when I, when I told David earlier, some of you might have been logged on, you might not have been logged on, when I said uh, thank you for teaching me how to fish and wait on, wait on the bite and not try to make the bobber shake, it was because uh, whenever I first came to Nashville and I started writing songs out of publishing deal through uh, another great man, Mr. Tim Dubois, and uh, I was walking around the room and I was very, you know, what if, it, what if the song went this way and what if it went this way and I was very antsy and I think it kind of made David Lee nervous and he said, Son, just sit down. He said, sit down and wait on it. He goes, you, uh, do you like fishing? And I said, yeah. He goes, well, wait on a bite. He goes, you don't have to try to shake that bobber to get something out of it. And uh, very shortly after, you know, several weeks later, we, Trent and David and I sat down in a room, and Trent wanted to write. I had this little, you know, uh, but we, all we wrote was with you I am. And, uh, we, all right. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm really grateful I listened to my mentors on that deal. Um, 
Uh, recently, we released this song at the end of Gotta Be Me record. Am I saying that right? And it just recently, within the last like four or five months, went gold. Uh, we released that independently. Uh, and I was very, very thankful that my record label, Warner Brothers, or Warner Music Nashville, uh, acknowledged me and said, congratulations on your independent gold record. And it was like, it was a huge, what is that? Well, and that was a, that was a huge part of it. Uh, sorry, I'm talking to my wife off camera because she's making sure. You don't sure want to come hang it. out with us. Everybody played it. It didn't matter whether it was a Sirius XM or if it was a The Bull or if it was a K. Sam in Huntsville. Everybody played this song for the first time, and it got uh, a lot of, it changed my career, it changed my life. So thank you to Trent, thank you to David, thank you to everybody that played it. It's called With You I Am. Ready? Two, three, four. Ever been a cool hand or loo? Golden back of the wind team. All the guy with the right kind of punchlines everybody wants to be. Ever was that lucky old cuss with a straight flush in his hand? Oh, but with you, I. I ain't no Patrick Swayze My own boots never down stone air Never walk with a swag looking sharp as a tag Head of a lifetime square Who's that guy with a big old smile As wide as a Rio Grande Oh, and you, I am Strong as a north soft flying But with you, I am. Oh, baby, with you, I am. I've always been doing my way, drifter. Another highway, another town. Never thought about that little white house with the porch on the way around. Yeah, I never saw me on a swing talking sweet talking dreams, but I'll be down with you. As a pine, light as a feather Same old boy, but a whole lot better Whenever you're holding my hand Well, I used to poke fun at them punch-drum clutters Never thought I'd be that man Whoa, baby, with you finally getting down to where I'm comfortable. Um, let me have a question. Hold on. How many people did I expect to tune in? I was fairly certain that both of our mothers would tune in. Yep. 
That's about. I mean, honestly, well, well, here's here's my fair question rebuttal. Did you expect Houston Rodeo to get canceled? I didn't either. So I didn't really know what to expect, honestly. I mean, I would have been happy with just a. Uh, I mean, you get reminded like, I'm very proud of the fact that I get to provide for my wife and kids and uh, my closest friends, wives and kids and all that stuff, doing what I love. But you figure out how much you really love it when you can't do it. And, um, you know, I've really been dealing with, on a personal level, I've been really dealing with how appreciative I am to be home with my wife and kids and to be have time that I haven't had off time like this in 14 years because I've busted my butt for 14 years. Uh, however, there, there's this really hard part to deal with of not going and getting your nightly fix of your addiction of hearing – watching people and hearing people be moved by your music and it's really really hard so i'll be honest with you uh i would have been happy with whatever the same way i was whenever i was playing for 25 people in wild west lubbock or playing borskis um in new Waverly, still Texas. plays borskis <laughs> <laughs> i would have been happy with whatever i didn't expect i didn't expect uh 25,000 people to log in uh i'd like to thank the double drop ranch uh, for having us here and letting us have this uh, this room. It's a really, really, really good acoustic room. I wish I had about 150 people in here that we could uh, hear what this sounds like. It's almost like it's, it kind of sounds like a church. It's very it's, it's echoey, but it doesn't not it doesn't a bad way. yeah not in a bad way. Um, and I guess Belt Fed is uh, sharing this as well. Our friends at Belt Fed Apparel, uh, who are not a sponsor, uh, just a friend of mine named Will Rollins, who has this awesome patriotic shirt company uh <laughs> and that's a marine so you're gonna feel completely unpatriotic if you don't buy one of them Hoorah! those shirts you know what i mean uh all you army guys just keep your comments off of our feed um <laughs> we're not marines you can comment on his <laughs> we're talking about comment on belt fed apparels uh but uh, no it's been a it's been a great experience so i didn't really know what to expect honestly i would have been happy with whatever i'm just really thankful that we have figured out a way to to play music. And I think one of the things that I've been most reminded of is not to take for granted what I do for a living. Yes, I do get to provide my family with uh, a living. But realistically, like just getting to play music, just getting to, to use the talent that God's given me and, and touch people, which is what you're doing by logging on. I know you're somewhere in your own situation, in your own place, so the exact same thing we're going through, and I'm getting to entertain you for a little while, and I, I think I'm just uh, refiguring out how much that means to me. So here's to you, ladies and gentlemen, and to all of our police officers, firefighters, our veterans that have kept this country free to where we are able to withstand what we're going through. It may not look at it. Like I told you at the very beginning, just try your best to not watch the media do, watch the media with a grain of salt. Um, remember, you're in a country that has survived a lot of things, and a lot of people have given their lives uh, for us to be able to withstand something like that. So uh, I say we look on the positive side of it. Here's to you, ladies and gentlemen. Do like the game shows, you start throwing cards. <laughs> Was that Drew Carey on The Process Ride or whatever? Okay. So I've been looking forward to this song all night. <laughs> Me too. And guess what? We've only got, so just so you know, we've only got one, two, three, four songs left, maybe five. Uh, so for anybody that's thinking about ducking out early, don't be a statistic. Uh, the best is yet to come. <laughs> By your own opinions, like the stream show it like <laughs> these are the most popular songs you don't want to lose. I got my old bad guitar back. So one of the first songs when I picked up a guitar and I learned how to play and I said, All right, my ag teacher Larry Fortenberry at Grofton ISD, Grofton High School. That's the reason for the feathers. Uh said you're going to start a band and I went to FFA talent team we played songs like Pat Green's Three Days or Fishing in the Dark or uh, I don't even remember the artist Picking Wildflowers what was... didn't you get kicked out for playing Feels Like Making Love 
Well, I've been kicked out of establishments when I was under 18 for playing Feels Like Making Okay, Love. that was the story. We, We've been I doing this for a long time. I've heard a lot I of didn't stories. get, uh, I didn't win state FFL, FFA talent team because uh, the Pick and Wildflowers song Pick and Wildflowers said, song. Ice down a six pack, a ha ha. And they found a ha ha. You should have said a pepsi. Really offensive. No, I'm just kidding. It was a, uh, I don't know, I don't know why that happened, but. Whenever. Jesus, I'm gonna have to. Fully, you, want to you want to switch it? I might have to. You want to switch this thing? Whenever uh, my ag teacher encouraged me to start the band, and we started the band, I started getting gigs, and I looked up to people that were playing places I wanted to play. And one of those people that were on the radio, quote unquote, Texas artists, was a guy named Steve Murray out of Love Lady, Texas. I'm gonna tune while the rest of y'all uh, figure out what I'm talking about because I promise you at least a quarter of our fan base right now that's on this watching this just goes perfect holy one. crap that he just says he's going to play a perfect stranger song if you know who perfect stranger and Steve Murray are please start commenting I'm going to tune I just want to say hey Steve how you doing buddy I bet you're probably watching I actually heard that water droplet hit the floor so we believe you. No, I'm serious. Like it's it's, oh, no, it's definitely it's definitely raining at your house. It's not raining at mine. It's close. I'm gonna get it. So uh, one of the first songs that I it was a uh, and I'll give another shout out to another DJ is uh, Sean Erickson and uh, Danny Merrill at Kicks 105 for playing my stuff first, huh? Colby Erickson. Nope. Uh, Sean was one of the first. Sean was one of the first guys to play my music on the air, and when I tuned into Sean's uh, radio show the first time, I heard Steve Murray and Perfect Stranger playing The Right to Remain Silent. And I'm telling you, I just wanted to play it. Ready? Two, three, four. Now I have this dance, my you looking pretty. Is there something wrong? Did he leave you hurting? I don't mean to pry, but that tear in your eye gave you away. If you don't want to talk, we'll keep it quiet. Sometimes a heartache hurts worse when you hide it. I think there's a chance one slow dance bodies the pain. You have the right to remain silent. Anything that you say as I hold you against me. Will forever be a secret between us two. I've been wanting you, but you didn't know it. And now that he's gone, at last I can show it. Your heart is tired for the rest of your life. Lay your love on me So many times my eyes have held you Tonight please give my arms that chance If you don't feel the need for conversation We'll just let our hearts talk while we dance. You have the right to remain silent. Anything that you say, as I hold you against me, will forever be a secret between us two. Your heart is tied. 
fire for the rest of your life. Lay your love on me. If your heart is tired for the rest of your life, lay your love on me. Songs for you, Steve. out there wondering why I tune so much is because the because you care it's because I care. <laughs> really care well and the fallacy that there's a guitar that stays in tune all the time is just because it hasn't been on the road with me well you whack them you <laughs> think uh yeah any guitar makers out there that want to send me something to, to prove me wrong feel free <laughs> getting pretty close to the end of this deal uh, I'd just like to say thank you for logging on uh, thanks to every doctor and nurse and EMS person out there that is picking people up and testing people and putting yourself in front of it uh, you know I feel like there's there's a certain cali caliber of people that you know what you get when you're signing up uh, if you're a police officer you're pretty sure you're gonna get shot at, at some point um, if you're a firefighter you're gonna get burnt if you sign up for the Army or the military in general, the Marines, whatever, you, you know you're going to get shot at, you know you're going to be in danger, you come to accept it. But I think at times like this, uh, I'm reminded of 9-11, to be honest. Uh, people like ambulance drivers, uh, they don't necessarily have that in their forefront in this country, thankfully, because we live in such a wonderful country that they don't have the forefront of having to deal with what we're dealing with. Uh, and we're really grateful for you guys stepping up and, doing what you're having to do right now in the line of fire also. Um, completely unrelated, I'm going to take a drink break, so here's to you. I ran out. So. You have to ask. I know we told them to act like they're not here, but they're here. Hey, wait, can I have some more? They're nurses, we, um, they're, working they're nurses watching? Mm -hmm. Y'all need to be watching them people y'all take care of. Just be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> face to tell on y'all for... Uh, Derelict of duty. <laughs> First of all, spill that. I can't spill derelict. I went to Groveton. Please don't. They were gonna. They were gonna induct me into the e Groveton Hall of Fame until that come. They were never gonna induct me I into the Hall call. of Fame. No, I got a phone call. They were actually gonna do it until now. <laughs> it's actually, until don't now. you nice? Has Iola called you very much? I'm just saying they were never gonna induct me uh, into the Iola Hall of Fame. Stands. Yeah. I'm just saying. For the, last, for the last 10 years, more times than not, y'all think me and Jody are talking on stage. I wrote 80% of these songs, and to this day, I still have to go, what key is this in? I remember most of them, but sometimes... Uh, I'm not going to play... I hope Jake Mears is watching. I'm not going to play this as good as you. There's a reason I hired you, so I don't have to do you, bro. Try to fake it though. I got the. If you do the bing, 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 bing. <laughs> we, we got, got you. <laughs> this is the dirtiest part of our clean show. Wearing your black dress, red shoes, makeup, perfume, diamonds. You've always impressed, turn is the second you walk through the door. Your 
all I got the real life work of fine art. Baby, you're priceless. And I just want to get on and get that black dress down on the floor. Cause when you got nothing on, there ain't nothing wrong. Looking you all night long's all I want to do. Cause I've seen the mountains high. I've seen the old Got nothing on, ain't nothing got nothing on you. You better than Venice, Vegas, New York, any Paris. Baby, your money in the fall, the Grand Canyon on a full moon. Oh, and they can keep those high rise, high rise mansions out in trade places. As long as I'm here with you, baby, I've got a room with Yeah.